Caribbean nation late this afternoon. The 7.0 quake was centered roughly 10 miles from the capital city. Raise Prince. up your and hands. Of at least one strong 5.9 aftershock. Brothers and sisters. Time to you. Hello, my name is John Edmondson. I'm one of the co-founders and project leader for an exciting venture in Haiti called Villages of Hope International. And we're hoping in the video to to show you a part of our vision and dream for what we believe will be the rebuilding of Haiti in a very exciting way. And we're hoping that some of you watching this video may be inspired to join with us and partner with us in making this dream a reality. We estimate that uh, up to uh, 2 million people have been exposed to violent shaking. In the best of times, it's still quite tough in Haiti. It is uh, shanty towns, there's very little regulation in building. And then one morning, I was sitting in my home and my phone rang. And there was one of my suppliers who said, John, have you seen the news? It's Haiti, it's bad. I've got a call coming in from one of our team on the ground, I'll get back to you. And so I, as usual, turned on CNN and with the rest of the world started to watch the stories of Haiti coming in, the disaster and the impact and the debris and people everywhere. And the screaming was heard from the scene. The first task at hand was just like all the other crises to get relief to Haiti. And over the next couple of months, as things unfolded in Haiti, we got container loads of relief medicine and water. Um, several of the NGOs who I'd been working for in the past or with in the past started to ask the obvious question, which was, how would you rebuild Haiti and how could you rebuild Haiti? So initially we started working with a team out of Texas A&M who helped us study options. We went from plywood houses, we looked at various things that could be solutions for how to rebuild the devastation in Haiti. So over time, I, through friends of this contact, led to another contact. I met a fellow named Andrew Dennis, who had been developing on his own a system for coding foam and, and providing what was really a unique house in the world. And the more we all worked together, the more it became apparent that there really was something here that was worth exploring. I'm on my first trip to Haiti on a scouting mission to find land, I saw this piece of land and that piece of land and they all looked interesting and they all looked possible but nothing was just exactly right. On the last trip back I was taken by Pastor Eric in the back of a tap tap up into the hills of Haiti and just saw a whole different part of Haiti I'd never seen before. I was used to the, the street fenders and the dirty and the honking of the tap taps and the cars driving on sidewalks and everything about we all know about Port-au-Prince. And I'll never forget that moment as we climbed the hills up into the mountains surrounding Haiti, that it seemed like every 10 minutes that we got higher, the air got fresher and the space got cleaner. And uh, we wound through the mountain highway and eventually pulled into the village of Mibale. And uh, we had the privilege and pleasure of going there with the mayor. instantly caught our vision and was delighted to see that perhaps a group of people were willing to come to her town and help start something new. And one of the things I like about Mibale is it's really a fresh start. It's a fresh canvas on which to work. The, the town itself was really unaffected by the earthquake. Um, it still has its poverty like the rest of Haiti, but it didn't have the impact that crumbled buildings. And therefore there's nobody to move, there's nobody to replace while we build a new village. It's really bare land, clean, exciting land, and even the, the mayor and uh, some of the other higher government officials are willing to partner with us to make this happen. And so nothing like this can be done without partnerships on all levels, and we're just delighted that the mayor and her team are willing to join with us as well. Better than nothing, I mean fantastic. Better. 
The song you heard throughout this video was written by a good friend of mine, Colin Weeb. People who love their nation usually have a nickname for their country, and the Haitians have always called Haiti heaven. This song was written especially for this project by Colin and really expresses a belief we all share, that through all the efforts of many people, heaven can be heaven again, and the devastation and squalor could be replaced by something more beautiful and perfect. The next step is to fund the acquisition of the land and the first two phases of planning, which are vision and feasibility and concept definition. The complete project development plan can be seen on our website. And so, the vision for Villages of Hope in Haiti is really the same as the song, that heaven really can be heaven again.